What's up guys, Zoeb here from OneGlassTrader.com and welcome back to my Baby Pips Forex Education video series. So we're in the elementary school in grade 3 talking all things Fibonacci and if you're new here and want to check out all the previous videos in this series click the link in the top right -hand corner or the first link in the description. Now in this video we're going to be talking about how to use Fibonacci retracements with trend lines. Now Fib retracements work best in trending markets markets and utilizing the concept of trend line analysis is really going to help time and trigger your entries um, in the right direction. So what this tutorial kind of covers is showing you uh, an example of a trend line and then placing down the um, uh, fib, fib retracement and then understanding where price can naturally go along that re retracement um, and ideally at the same point of where price meets that trend line as you, and as you can see in this example price goes in um, the continuation of the trend so again I, I scoured YouTube and I tried to find a uh, a good video that kind of demonstrated this or showed this in a live chart example um, and unfortunately I couldn't really find any of them so what I've done is I've created my own video so I'm going to take you onto the charts and uh, show you a kind of a recent example of where where this takes place so I shall see you guys in a second so here's an example on the euro USD one hour chart of how you can use fib retracement levels with trend lines now as you can see here we are in a, an upward trend and the kind of start of the trend was down down here and what I've done is is kind of drawn this uh, trend line um, and for those of you who don't know how to draw trend lines uh, I go through this in a previous baby pips uh, video uh, which I'll link to in the top right -hand corner so again we've drawn our trend line over here and then what I've done is I've drawn a fib retracement from this swing low to this swing high as you can kind of see in this red uh, dotted line over here and what it does on MT4 when you connect the two points it draws uh, the fib retracement levels now what I'm going to do is just zoom in on this so you guys can see this a bit more clearly um, so you can see over here so as price starts to retrace and what I'll do is I'll give you a little tip right and well, I say it's a tip it's it's something that I I heard once from a, a from a trader that any reversal whether that is from a support line or from a resistance line always starts with one color and then an alternate color so an example would be over here so we know that this here I probably wouldn't have started drawing in this fib line once I knew that this was actually reversing into a potential retracement or even downtrend and the way that as I've mentioned it's it started there with a, a green candle and then a red candle and again when we look down here on the retracement um, we've got a red candle followed by a green candle so when you see that around a fib level line that's when you started to think okay this could be a potential reversal or the, or the end of the retracement in 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 the trend so as I said um, we we've got our trend line um, we, we draw uh, our swing high and the reason why we know that this is that kind of high uh, in hindsight is quite easy but at the time you've got a green candle followed by a red candle so then we're going down here it blasts through the 23.6 um, stays within there to the 38.2 kind of you know you get a doji there so potentially here the 38.2 could be a sign of the end of the retracement but then you have another red candle that kind of blows through the 38.2 uh, and kind of has a low of around the 50 uh, 50 percent mark and again touching the bottom of that trend line and then you see the next candle which is green and again the low is pretty much touching that trend line it's never going to be exact um, again you can tweak the lines to make it exact in retrospect but you know it's giving us a high probability here that this could be the bottom of the retracement and there's three things why the first one is it touches the trend line the second point is it is touching 
uh, the 50% Fib retracement level. And thirdly, what I just said, again, it's not really a tip, is that a bottom's going to follow by a red candle and then by a green candle. And look what happens. You get that and then you start getting the push up again. And then as soon as it blows through the 23.6, we kind of know that this is clearly the bottom of the retracement. That's not to say that it's going to go all the way up, but it's kind of really this, this candle here is where you're really looking to get entry because that gives you that kind of U-shaped confirmation that uh, that the retracement has has hit a bottom and as you can see after that the price goes again to uh, to the races and again this just shows of how important trend lines are not only at the point of where you draw them but also inside the future so even if i drew the lines between these two points or even if price was here at these three points you can see over here at this point um that price holds and respects that line inside the future and then again continues there but that's not the point of this video. The point of the video was is around how you can use fib retracement levels uh, with trend lines. And hopefully that's a, a good example to show that if you are a trend trader and you like fib levels, incorporating trend lines into into the mix of your trading again high probability, high confidence opportunities that um, you're trading not only in the right direction, but higher degree of success. So I really hope you, you know, really enjoyed that example. Like and subscribe this video. Please leave a comment if you guys are using Fib levels um, with trend lines. I really want to understand a lot more about how you guys are trading so I can kind of tailor my content around what you guys want to see. Uh, and I should see you guys inside the next video.